Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about the Sony Alpha 7 Mark IV. So I'm gonna call it the A7 IV. Now if you are watching this right now, right at this second, you probably already know the specs and the pros and cons about this camera. So I don't know why you guys still watching this video. Uh. <laughs> but appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now not just that, I am going to tell you why the second doesn't bother me that much. You know, all the pros and cons, the con doesn't bother me that much and I can tell you who is this for and how is the real life performance of this camera. Now let's go to specs first, alright? Now you are looking at a 33 megapixels full frame sensor, a brand new image processor, 4K, 60p, 10 bit, 422, 10 frame per second in burst mode. Now the number sounds amazing because it is amazing. The 4K oversample for 7K the focus breathing, the focus mapping, the fast autofocus, the real-time IAF, human IAF, animal IAF, and the high-end bird IAF. I mean like what the F? <laughs> now not just that, we also have some amazing and great designs. For example, the flip-out screen, full-size HDMI, the amazing and comfortable grip, 5-axis IBIS, other customizable button, 2 memory card slot, the great and amazing battery life of this camera. Now they claim one battery can shoot around 500 photos plus plus but honestly I did 600 and way beyond and left like 20% left. It's amazing and that's all the pros and that's a lot of pros but let's talk shit about this camera. Let's talk about the 4k 60 crop. Now the 4k 60p crop now it bothers a lot of people including me but it doesn't really bother me that much it's because I actually come from an APS-C sensor it's a 1.5 times crop same goes to 4K60 1.5 times crop super 35 my first ever camera is actually a Sony long story short it's in a better place now short story long I threw it into a washing machine when I was like 10 years old yeah so don't do that. My second camera is actually a Nikon D5600, which I am using right now. It's actually a APS-C sensor, 1.5 times crop. Same goes to here, a 4K60, 1.5 times crop, Super 35. So I kind of got used to it with the crop thing. At the same time, I'm kind of annoyed because I paid this much for the crop. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sad, but at the same time, I've got used to it with the crop. So it doesn't really bother me that much. It might bother a lot of people because 60 crop, come on. <laughs> second thing, we're gonna talk about the not 10 frame per second. Now it is 10 frame per second, and let me show you. 10 frame per second, as they said. But at the same time, it's not 10 frame per second. Yeah. Now 10 frame per second and not 10 frame per second, that's obviously a difference. One of them are compressed raw file, the other are uncompressed raw file. At the same time, the uncompressed raw and compressed raw, not much of a big deal. Now, is there any difference? Definitely, that's, there is some differences between uncompressed raw and compressed raw, but only if you underexpose your shot pretty bad, like two stops away. But if you kind of got your exposure right most of the time, 90% of your time, or even 99% of your time, you got perfectly exposed or just slightly underexposed or overexposed, it's actually fine. Compressed raw will work. But if you are that kind of people who shoot like two stops away and underexpose everything or overexpose everything, congratulations, just shoot in uncompressed raw. Well, as I said, it doesn't really bother me that much, but it still annoyed me because it's not 10 frames per second. But as I said, I expose my shot kind of perfectly, 99% of the time. So I mostly shoot compressed raw. Only certain time I will use uncompressed raw. Third thing is the bad rolling shutter. Now, what is rolling shutter? Rolling shutter is basically a vertical line becomes kind of slightly tilt. Get it? Now Sony always have bad rolling shutter like the ZV-E10 but if you compare the price, the one is like here, the other is like, yeah, big difference. But Sony always have 
I can't say always be a high-end video only camera phone have the rolling shutter but in the Sony a7 series um, most of them have rolling shutter prop and does it annoys me not really because I don't shoot any sports or any wildlife so if you are shooting sports or wildlife yeah you might have to consider that a problem now in a conclusion is this a great camera is this a camera that you want is this a camera that is great for investment or whatever that you do with your camera I don't know what you do with your camera but is it a great camera not gonna lie it is an amazing camera but at the same time I wouldn't recommend photographer or videographer getting this camera now mainly because the 4k 60 crop and the rolling shutter for videographer no go and for the not 10 frame per second for a photographer 33 megapixels if you are really photographing per mainly I would recommend the Sony Alpha 7 R series which have 61 megapixel sensor way much more megapixels the Sony takes 33 megapixels so yeah I, I can't say it's a photo only camera and if you are a photo guy only in fact this camera is for a hybrid shooter someone like me I do a little bit of video I do a little bit of photo so this camera works for me but does it work for you if you are just starting with photo or video honestly same I wouldn't recommend you buying this camera I would recommend you buying a cheaper camera instead and invest more in lens now lens does make a difference for example the 50mm f1.8 and the 85mm f1.8 they honestly make a difference it's totally different focal length and the f1.8 definitely helps a lot honestly <laughs> the background blurred and all the stuff so really if you are just starting out I really recommend to buy a cheaper camera and invest more in lens but if you want a 4k 60 you want the 10 bit 422 yeah the Sony Alpha 7 IV so again it's a great camera I love this camera I didn't regret it though I kind of wish it's a little bit cheaper so I can invest more in lens but I'm okay with this anyway thanks for watching hope you guys get some info from this video uh, hope you guys make your decision you probably already did but at the same time hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave a like would be appreciated so thanks for watching hope you guys are staying safe out there and I don't know why did I do that there's no one there just just came up hope you guys stay safe <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys see you. Can't speak. Hope to see you guys in another. Hope to see you guys in another video. <sighs> oh, at the same time, yeah, this camera can do like directly camera. Like if you are on a zoom, you don't want to use your com laptop camera because this sucks. Well, you can just plug in a USB-C and just connect. You know what? Let me show you. And yeah, it's like that. Directly connect. Yeah. I know I'm going to call my friend, but I, 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 I don't have friends. Hey, Dari Connect. <laughs> God, I'm lonely.